You know, I, I didn't know nothing about this as a kid. Like, doctors told me, yeah, you'll never be able to do anything physical. You're gonna mm. take it easy. I was born three months premature with a disability called cerebral palsy. I had a tumor develop in my spinal cord. So for me, a living life in a chair is all I know. everyone it's 1249 so the spoke benders wheelchair basketball team is one of the longest running competitive wheelchair basketball teams in the country dating back to 1965 and they're right here from Connecticut I started on the spoke benders I found them through the Easter Seals program I didn't even know wheelchair Basketball existed till I was about 18, 19. I've been here for my whole life. I did a year of college in Marshall, Minnesota, and I played five years overseas uh, professionally in South France. I put together a highlight film, on, put it up on YouTube, put my name out there, and just worked hard. You know, this is probably my last year here in Connecticut. It's time for me to grow as a family. I actually just lost my mom. She was my world, you know. She never, like, uh, she never felt bad for me. I've broken my legs over 30 times. I've had over 10 surgeries. I just, I play my heart out. I want them to feel like what I felt when I won my first championship. And this program hasn't won a, a, a national title in probably about 30 years. So if I can do that my last year here, it'll, it'll mean the world to me. Like there's really nothing left to do if I can win for my state and for my friends, you know? Like I go back to my doctor, like, He's like, hey, how was Europe? Do you get hurt at all or anything? I'm like, no, man, I'm, I'm solid as the ox, you know? Like, like, I want to take stuff I know and teach it to these guys so they can get better when I'm not here and they can get pushed and push the next player along. Complete the layup. Get your own rebound, rebound, dribble all the way back, pass the ball off to your teammate. While your teammate is waiting, wheel turns straight out front of your chest while you wait. I'm doing this through two people. I actually went to college thinking I was going to walk on to the football team, able-bodied style. When I was waiting around for freshman football tryouts, the captains and two men who are now my best friends um, literally cornered me in a hallway and told me I was playing the wrong sport. And I went into the gym and they threw me in a chair and the first shot I ever took was a three-pointer. And it went in and I swear it was another five years before I made another three-pointer. But I was hooked from that moment on. Being part of this team and this family really is something that I will never forget and something that I cherish greatly. We're there for each other on our darkest hours to our most brilliant moments of competition. I mean, just like the Spoke Winders, it's a second family for everybody that plays. Even for those players' family, you kind of get attached to the team as well. We have a core of other players that have been on the team probably as long as I have been or just as long, um, somebody like Kelly Lavoy or Daryl Rupp, without them, we wouldn't be where we're at right now. We've, we're actually one of the longest running teams in the NWBA. Josh was definitely a big uh, reason, force behind 
um, us trying to make a run at nationals again this year. Um, I'm really going to turn it up here these last two months. I told these guys I'm going to dedicate myself as much as I could, as much time as I can. And like I said, the goal at the beginning of the season, I told Carlos, like, I'm going to play with you guys. You guys got to be all in with me. Like, this is the goal, is to win a championship. It's not to come in second. It's not to come in third. We're not here for a good time. We're here to win. And he's like, yeah. I'm like, all right, let's do this then. <laughs> Mondays, we train together now at Chapter 126 in Bristol, and Tuesdays we have practice here, and then I'm going to try to get these guys one more day a week. Like, they got to understand, to be a champion, you really have to put in the extra work together as a team. A couple of the new guys, you know, they you can tell they, they really want it. And, you know, it makes me feel good to, like, like some of the young guys, like the first game, I got some of the young guys in and got them to score. And just, just to see the joy on their face and, and see that confidence building with them is like, yeah, man, it, it makes it totally worth it. I try to tell them, you know, if you work hard, anything's possible because nobody gave me a shot. <laughs> We got two months to get it all together, put it together. I guarantee you guys, if we work hard and everybody focuses, we'll win the whole thing, yo. We'll win the whole thing. And when you win a championship, that'll stay with you forever. Can't nobody ever take that away from you. All right? And I want to I wanna help this team win. I want to help the state win and get a championship this year. So I want everybody focused. If I yell at y'all, don't take it personal, man, because I just want the best out of everybody. All right? I'm going to take this team to the championship. They, they, if I got to put them on my back, let's go. Jump on, boys, because we're going to Title Town. Yeah. Uh -huh.